Hey you guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we are going to play Circuit Superstars on Xbox Series S. So this game yeah, came, came a little bit out of nowhere, to be honest. I was really surprised. I got an email from Square Enix that they were uh, publishing this game. So I was like, mm, what? Okay, let's go check it out. First of all, let's see how much data the game is on your hard drive. And it's 1.7 gigabytes. The game is not completely optimized for the new gen consoles, but I will get back to that very soon. It's not in Game Pass and it's only like 20 bucks or it's not even a very expensive game. So it's still Gen Durango. That means it's still a Xbox One optimized game. But as you can see, Underneath and at, at, at the bottom, it's Xbox One Gen 9 Wear. That means it knows it being played on a new gen console. That can mean two things, higher frame rate or higher resolution. Most of the time, it's a little bit of both. So let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me means even more for the channel so you're really helping out you see square enix collective yeah it's definitely a uh, yeah indie racing game the first things i saw I, I it felt a lot like art of rally i'm gonna be complete a mix between art of rally art of rally uh, that came out in game pass a few weeks ago and also a lot like micro machines from way back when. <clears throat> so there's a lot of stuff going on here. What's a fun one? I think the super truck cup was pretty fun. Play. The game is super hard, by the way. Or I'm really bad. It's one of the two. Because, yeah, it's... I had a lot of problems. Uh, I, I'm normally I can say I'm at least mediocre at racing games, but holy moly, this game is hard as nails. Super unforgiving. One little mistake. can definitely put you off. And this is amateur. So yeah, it's uh, pretty hard sometimes. It can be pretty unforgiving. But the gameplay is very good. It's a very, very well-made indie game. Feels super here, you know. One little mistake and I'm seven already. <clears throat> no, it's a super polished game. It looks very funny. I love these uh, aesthetics in games all the time. Now oh, come on, Luis, you can do it. On. That was my. That was my mistake. I'm not going to get that to uh, the AI. And there are a lot, a lot like a lot of different races going. This is off-road. You have truck racing, formula racing. Let's uh, go check out one after this. Hopefully, I can do it a little bit better. 
also feels a lot like uh, that four times four game from way back when. Uh, super off-road on the NES. An RC Pro M, those rare games, it also feels a little bit like those. But for 20 bucks, I think you can get a very good racing game and a really hard one the agitator there's a lot of stuff going on online yeah let's do a different level with So there's online of course you've got solo online lobbies creating weekly time trials that you can play and these are the kinds of cars you get in this uh, this game that's pretty pretty cool because you've got the formula one you've got the 90s formula one this is like 60s Formula 1, 50s Classic. There's a lot of stuff going on here. The only thing I'm missing a little bit are like upgrades to your car. Or stuff you can unlock. That's the only thing, yeah. I'm missing a little bit. Let's do the Formula 1. Formula GP. No, I'm doing amateur because. <clears throat> it really is very hard. Play. And I think that, e that they even put in a Dutch track. This is going so hard. This is so hard to master. You definitely need to master this game. This is definitely like Dark Souls quality. Uh, You know, I'm not even mad at me. I'm not even disappointed. Like that level up system. You've got you can get level one, two, three. It doesn't do anything. That's kind of sad. But I can imagine that this game is a very fun game if you play this with a few friends. Online. We even saw some commercial stuff that, that Lando Norris 
was a spokesperson for this game. But then again, Lennon Norris is also a very good driver. And I'm just a crazy old Dutch man that thinks he can do this. This is amateur difficulty. And probably there will be a few guys that already play this game are like, ha ha ha, Maurice. Come on. Ten laps. Oh wow! I don't even want to play ten. Um, let's see what there is more to find. <coughs> Top Gear Time Attack. Time Attack. No, let's do it. Let's just try one. Little bit of a different camera angle. And every car definitely has a different driving style. And I'm playing this digitally, because normally you can uh, with the D pad. I think these kind of games work better with a D pad. Because with uh, the analog stick, I couldn't make any turn. If I can go faster than my first round. It's a highly addictive game, by the way. You really want to get better at it. I think that's the, the big selling point. So, yeah. Let's get back to the main menu. But <clears throat> yeah, this is um, the Circuit Superstars running on Xbox Series S. It's a fun game. It's only 20 bucks, so that's not very expensive. And um, it's a very well-made game. So yeah, I will definitely give this a thumbs up. It's a little bit hard. So there's definitely a, uh, a learning curve in this game. But yeah, I really like it. So... Thank you for watching and hopefully till next time. Bye-bye.